Dating sim. <laughs> <laughs> dating sim. <laughs> Perfect. That's the best answer that's ever existed. Where you, where you date vampires. I can guarantee that exists. Because I, yeah, well, no reason. I just want it. <laughs> I just, I, yeah. That's awesome. I want to make something like Persona, no legit. I want to make something that's like RPG with um, dating some elements. Like, I thought that was like the most genius thing ever. If Atlas probably put the time and effort into making a dating sim. Actually, no, just play Catherine. Mm -hmm. that's that's probably the I like Catherine. you're gonna get it's coming out again it's re-releasing yeah it is again. there's a third Catherine now mm -hmm. man any game in the universe I don't know that's the thing is that if there's I don't want to say anything because there are a couple games we're actually working on that yes that is true you guys are working on Super Chameleon Brothers Mighty Chameleon Brothers Mighty thank you that's, right. that's alright I yeah. played it I sucked at it <laughs> it's a it's a learning game for sure it's it old takes, school too it takes a while but yeah there's a couple of games that we have ideas for that i do, almost don't want to say because that's fair enough it's kind of like oh these are original ideas that we've never seen done anywhere so i think we're starting to consider these as actual projects in the future once mighty chameleon brothers launches hopefully in the fall and then hopefully port it to the switch actually that'd be wicked yeah it's gonna hope in smash bros coming soon yeah, well, I mean, like, that'd be cool. We were we were thinking like the switch makes the most sense because you just it's two it's gonna be two player, so you just click and then play. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. But I don't know any sort of game in the universe. I would honestly like to see Square Enix tackle making another Super Mario RPG. But instead of just Super Mario, I would love it to be Nintendo. So like, take the Smash Bros. formula essentially, give Square Enix access to all the characters in Nintendo's library, and just be like, hey. We all got thrown into one universe. Here's another RPG about like them trying to all get back to their homes, essentially. Because, I mean, everyone loves Mario RPG, and everyone loves Paper Mario. Those games are great. Yeah, I love Paper Mario. And Mario. everyone wants another Super Mario RPG. Mm -hmm. They want that more than anything on the planet. <laughs> it is that good. You can fight Bahamut. Yeah. With Mario. <laughs> and it's like, so why wouldn't you just give Nintendo, give, give Square Enix access to it, Give them 15 years, because that's how long it will take for them to do anything nowadays, mm -hmm. and just let them make a game. <laughs> good answer. Good yeah. answers. So this is already a game that's pretty much made already, but it pretty much be a reskin of this game. God of War, Thor game, though. God of War, Thor game. That literally makes the most sense. That would that would like, be sick. If Spider-Man does well, because I heard they're trying to do a like, cinem or video game universe off this game with the new... Uh, Square Enix Avengers game that's going to tie in. Yeah, the Avengers okay. project. So if they if this actually works out and they do a solo Thor game or you're just like kicking ass and they're taking names, Is kicking Thor ass. Is Thor going to have a child? Ah, uh, no. And he's just going to call him boy. You know? <laughs> you're actually, straight up, that's daughter. the greatest thing on the planet. What, what about the girl Thor? No. <laughs> Jane Foster? Yeah. No, not that one. <laughs> Man, well, no, that makes sense. God of War was such a good game. Like, Hard perfect ten. I absolutely think that game deserved a perfect Wh ten. Which one? The first God of War? No, the one that just came out. Oh, the first one. one. No, the new one. The boy the one that he was talking. Boy of War, yeah. Boy of War. Dad of boy. <laughs> Dad of boy, or uh, father of lad. <laughs> I haven't played it <laughs> yet, but I will. Speaking of Spyro, mm -hmm. Nintendo now has their competitors from the past all on their console. They have Sonic, Spyro. Pac-Man and Crash Bandicoot. So Fucking good for them. That's another W for Nintendo coming out. Good for them, honestly. It's about time. Nintendo's had a single problem for the longest time with their con with their with their consoles, and that is they've been way too protective of their IPs. They've mm -hmm. been way too closed off from the gaming sphere. And you know what? Honestly, Nintendo hasn't competed with Xbox or Sony for such a long time because they can get away with doing their own thing. Yeah. Like, while they were busy, while Sony and Xbox were making the Xbox 360 and PS3, they were like, hey, guess what? Here's the Wii. This is the coolest shit on the planet and it has motion controls. Hence mm -hmm. why everyone copied Nintendo. But the thing is, is we're officially in a new generation of gaming where Sony flipped the script a lot. And when the PlayStation 4 came out, they essentially were like, look, it's no longer about gimmicks. It's no longer about hardware. It's about games. And they came out strong and hard with that philosophy. And they dropped game after game after game after game after game. Sony is kind of unstoppable right now. Oh, he has so many good games. And as much as like <laughs> Nintendo doesn't compete in the same league as them, you can tell Nintendo is changing their tactics because they're now going to start charging for online. 20 bucks a year, cheap as hell. Mm -hmm. uh, potentially a Netflix of gaming that's coming to it with... NES, Super Nintendo, and 64 titles. Mm -hmm. crazy, crazy awesome as well. But on top of that, it's like, there's no longer this weird sense of rivalry, almost. Because it's like, Crash is on there, Spyro is on there. People that would never be on a Nintendo console back when the console wars were still a thing. 
it's really cool to see Nintendo going in this different direction where they are experimenting now more with DLC, constantly updating their games, um, and doing these things because it means Nintendo is willing to actually start changing. Mm. And that can potentially lead to amazing things like the Switch where we have our first kind of on-the-go console. And I mean, sure, mm. it's not as powerful as, say, something like a PS4 or an Xbox One, but there's nothing stopping them from essentially treating this like a 3DS mm -hmm. and giving us new iterations every one or two years. And then all of a sudden we have the equivalent of an Xbox One or a PS4 mm -hmm. in our hands. The one thing I want to add about Nintendo changing their formula up is they're doing with DLC now, but they're actually doing it right, giving you the full game first oh, yeah. and then extra crap. There's sadly no Mario Odyssey d DLC yet, but... We'll know. get it. Le like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I never beat the game because... I don't want to make food all the time. Because you suck. No. Yeah, I, just, I did suck at it, actually, truthfully. But like, I heard there's a bunch of DLC coming out, and it was actually like cheap. It wasn't like a $50 season pass. It oh, yeah. wasn't bad. It was crazy it cheap. Bad. You could yeah. buy a season pass, I think, for like 20 bucks. But that got mm -hmm. you everything. Yeah. And there was like over like, I think there's like 13, 14 things of DLC. Some of them were really minor, like costume changes and stuff. But some of them were like, Oh, like they were like the, they were like the Hyrule bike and stuff like that. Like that sweet that horse motorcycle, sick. which made... All the bitches want you. <laughs> like, And then Smash Bros. Ultimate's coming out. A fighting game with a 64-person roster. 66. 66. Order 66. 69. Roster. It needs to be 69. And then Good when friend. they add three more DLC characters, it'll be 69. Yeah, 69, 69. Ha. Greatest thing oh, ever. Oh, Sakurai. It will. But you know what? Honestly, here's the thing. This Smash Bros. that they have right now, I'm going to call it right now. I could be totally wrong, but I have. this is kind of where I see things going because Nintendo's been following a pattern lately. They're gonna. This is the Smash Bros. We're gonna get for this for the Switch. Yeah. We're not gonna get another Smash Bros. at all, because the thing is, is that like Splatoon, they're constantly updating it. This is DLC. It just got its first expansion with the Octo expansion. Mm -hmm. uh, Arms is being constantly updated still and balanced. Um, so like those are two new IPs that they are really sowing their support just by updating and giving up new stages, new gear, new equipment, new characters for free. The Octo expansion is the first thing you've had to pay for in Splatoon. Since it came out, mm -hmm. um, Smash Bros. They're gonna do the same. Smash Bros. They are gonna have they a have six royale. Yes, that, which would be really cool because Link would just stab people across <laughs> the map. He just fire I'd his sword that. and his bow. Um, but yeah, because they, they, they have sixty six right now because they are sixty four when the, up to sixty four with the Inkling and then Daisy and Ridley. <laughs> Daisy Ridley. Um, oh yeah, didn't see that. That's good. Um, <laughs> that equals sixty six. We're probably just gonna see them do updates. Where they're just like, hey, this character is out now. These new stages are a part of the thing. Oh, people really liked Smash Run from the 3DS version of the game? Okay, we'll add that in now. Oh, Hopefully maybe we'll add in a story. As well. Yeah, I want an adventure mode. Well, they only showed off the main mode, oh, so like they obviously have all this time to be like, hey, we're having a direct, here's the story mode, Subspace Emissary's back. Mm -hmm. Like, they have time to do all these things, so it's like, it's not like they're in a position where they can't flex their muscles. But at the same time, I feel like if they make Sakurai do any more work, he will literally turn into dust, showing the because he's just he's given his soul. Let this man rest.